What's up guys? Today we got a really cool video. We got a special guest in the house. He works for Thexton Tools. His name is Matt. He's here in the studio to show you guys some cool products that Thexton's got. So you guys stick around, check this one out. Hey guys, Matt with Thexton Manufacturing. Um, been in business for over 115 years. Most of our products all American made, like everyone likes them. Um, what we got here is some of our top products, just to give you a little deeper dive. We have our 430, which is our bread and butter hood and tailgate prop that you guys have all known and loved for years. But recently we did an update to this and we got our new 939. The big difference here, not just the color, but it is a 916 diameter in there now, and it also has a magnet on the bottom, so it turns it into a one-handed application compared oh, to the 430. Nice. It won't fall off it will not when fall you're off loosening and, and you're it. putting it back on there. Yep. So. so let me ask you this, because I have I've kind of experienced this in the past. So this one's got the red flag. It does. And that's very handy because I don't know if you've seen what happens if you forget to take one of them off and you got to close your hood. I have seen what happened. <laughs> so we were back and forth on doing a flag or not doing a flag. Mm -hmm. We could put a flag on there if people want it. Right. The reason we didn't, half the times we talk to people that get this one. And they tear it off. They tear it right off. Yeah. So we thought this thing's big enough. It's going to have a lot more power behind it. Hopefully people remember. <laughs> the issue is... The reason why I know what will happen is I put it on, but somebody else decided to close the hood. And um, I can assure you, once you do that, you'll remember it the next time. But <laughs> <laughs> the first time was an expensive mistake. So. Yeah. So. Um, we, can, we can throw the red, the red tag on there and that we have been tossing that around in our head. It's not going to change the price point whatsoever. Right. Um, we haven't had the need for it yet mm -hmm. people asking for us to put that back on there um and the other reason we left it off just to keep it, keep it kind of more compact right. that red flag's yeah. not just getting all over the place and getting trashed anyways mm -hmm. well that definitely um i like to say mine actually got tore off and <laughs> and uh and i think that was part of the issue because the guy had walked by we finished it you know cranked it up and he was just gonna be nice and help you know shut the hood right. and yeah, it made, a, it made a good mess on the hood. They, they hold. I, I, you guys did a good job building them because they will They will definitely lock on a hood we, strut. And it's it funny there. you bring this up because I was literally having the same conversation the past two weeks at these different shows I've been at. And people are like, yeah, I like it. The red thing would be nice. But no matter what, people are still going to pull it down mm -hmm. even if the red thing's on there. So they can see why we didn't put it on there. Yeah. Yeah, I was just messing with you, but they, they definitely they definitely will hold a hood up. Yeah, so. definitely. Um, moving along here, we got our 852. It's our circuit energizer. So what this tool is, it's a way to test the component right on the vehicle, basically do a bench test of the, the unit itself. Okay. Um, a good example for me personally is my wife's Grand Cherokee. That rear arm on the wind, the rear windshield wiper on that thing seems like it always gets stuck. And if you're driving down the road, you'll notice a lot of mm -hmm. cars have their rear windshield wiper stuck. So is it the motor or is it something in the wiring? Right. So you can hook this thing up right to that component. component by using one of the three different pigtails that are in here. So you have alligator clips small common one in the 250s okay on top of that we threw on some back probes just in case you can't get into right. it you can put it in the connector that's a good good idea so that will put out 12 volts so this will put out 12 volts so all you do is hook this up to a jump pack or okay. some type of power source so body shops kind of like this product because guess what? Maybe the battery's not in the car and they need to do some work. Exactly right. They can hook this up to a portable jump pack, plug in their pigtail to whatever they need, reverse polarized switch for up and down, and it's got an eight amp breaker so it would pop. 
Cool. We've tried this on multiple vehicles. If you do hook it up wrong, this thing will pop and not ruin the car That's or awesome. the component itself. It's a dummy down version to test a component. <laughs> what would be really nice is, is, you know, a lot of times, say a window motor or something like that, could be in the wiring, could be where it goes through the door. You know, there's several components that could fail besides just the motor exactly. or the switch. And you can isolate it pretty easy without having to take a lot of stuff mm -hmm. off. So that's really nice. Well, when you're speaking of windows and window wiring, mm -hmm. let's move right on to this kit. So this is our wire insertion tool. Oh yeah, that's a great tool right there. So the nice thing with this is you have the 35 degree bent one, which right. is good for windows mm -hmm. to get in that little crevice along the side, that grommet on yeah. the door. This is the perfect angle to get in there with that okay. to run new wiring. Then of course you have the Mac daddy. Mm -hmm. So guys that may not know about this, it's like a giant hypodermic needle that you can push the wire through because even on the handle end, you can see it's hollow all the way through. So you can push it through your firewall or something like that and make well, that's what it's designed for, is pushing wire. Push wire the firewall, yeah, exactly. Uh, it's but just the a, other thing that people don't know about this tool, how many times when you were younger did you use maybe a coat hanger and wrap electrical tape around it or something to push a wire through? Yeah, yeah. This tubing that comes with it is actually a crimpable tubing. So you can put your wire into the end of this, crimp it down on there, so no more electrical tape or anything like that around there and oh, pull cool. it right through. Once you get it through, snip off your ends, this becomes a consumable good that you can reorder. That's awesome. I didn't know that. That's a, that's a one feature that not many people know about and it's probably one of the better features of the product. Cool. The tools itself do work for pushing wires mm -hmm. because of the way they're built and it gives you those angles that you need, but this is a little bit of added, um, an added benefit right. to help aid that process. That's awesome right there. So we got a relay bypass kit. We talked about looking at the component itself. Mm -hmm. This is a way where we can start right at the relay, run everything through that relay box, through the wiring to that component. So with this, it comes with four pre-molded relays. That will fit roughly eight different spots in the vehicle. And then once you find which one you need, you just plug it right into here. Okay. Momentary switch and five feet of cord. So it nice. gives you that freedom to walk around the car if you need to hear something click. Right. That is really cool. So all of these are just different prongs. Different they all prongs. do the exact same yep. job. Just ground and power and ground. Very nice. So this kit along with the other kit that you got, you pretty much can diagnose the whole, the whole systems system. that's running whatever part that's not functioning correctly. Exactly. That's the best word. In my, in my, I don't know, my world, my realm, I would always go with this first, mm -hmm. check the component. If right. the component's bad, then you know you're done. Mm -hmm. Diving into wiring is not my forte because you'd have to travel a long way maybe sometimes to find out what's going on and what's yeah. wrong. So at least from this and this, you can figure out if it's up front or at the component. Mm -hmm. If it's somewhere in between, yeah. good luck. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, you know. But, you know, a lot of times a guy will dive in, you know, not necessarily like a professional shop. You know, the right. guys will test everything. But, you know, I, I see a lot of DIY guys at home that, automatically assume if their window's not going up and down, it's the motor first. Right. Or, well, if that don't work, I'll replace the switch. Well, if that don't work, I'll replace the relay. And if that don't work, I have to take it to somebody. When all along it could have been in the door when the wire flexes, that's a common issue that, right. that you see on, on window motors, you know. And same way with like a blend door actuators and stuff like that, everybody automatically assumes that the motor's bad. Yep. And being able to test it especially that quickly, you know, would pay off. Exactly. Because you save a lot of time if you know that that ain't the problem. Exactly. <laughs> so. and, and that's our goal with, with most of our products. We want to save the tech or the person working on the vehicle time because it's all about time and money. If you right. can save time, you're saving money. Mm -hmm. 
Well, that's a great kit. And I see you've got another our last super one. handy kit right This here. is our brand new 935 Master Terminal Tool Kit. It's a 30 piece set, 23 regular tools, six Deutsch terminal tools, mm -hmm. and then a brass brush. Sweet. So again, this kit is the Mac Daddy. Mm -hmm. This will basically have almost every tool a tech should need or would need to make a repair on a connector. Right. And a lot of guys, you know, I've, I've had a lot of people that didn't realize you could take those connectors apart, you know, and a lot of times they'll just push back up inside the connector and there's your issue with your continuity, you know, and, right. and a lot of people didn't know that you could take those apart and usually you can buy new replacement ends to put on them. Right. So that saves a lot of trouble too, being able to just to pull that connector out of the wiring. And, and, to, and in here, it, this literally tells you which connector or terminal that these tools go with. If it's a pick tool, if nice. it's a Molex, if it's a weather pack, that's super awesome right there. The other nice thing that people have said to us, they like the fact that it's a nice small case compared to mm -hmm. other ones that are on the market. Right. Um, not a blow molded case, it's a very simple case to keep everything in one spot. Right. Again, I will, I will definitely hit this again. The six Deutsch tools makes this kit that much better because mm -hmm. you have people that are in ag and other things where they need those bigger ones, exactly. but they also right. need the smaller terminal tools as well. That's true. And all these are replaceable and you can buy them individually. So what is the normal warranty on most of your tools? Our tools come with a one year manufacturer defect warranty. Our terminal tool kit will not have a warranty on it besides that one year manufacturer defect right. because of the fact that it is a terminal tool that's mm -hmm. going to be used to pry and prod. And, and it could be used, and... <laughs> it could be used wrong. Right. Um, I know there are other ones on the market um, that are warranty for life. Ours are not, but ours are made right here in the United States. Okay. So we're giving you a quality product at a good price. Awesome. Well, it's some very nice tools. So you guys be sure to be looking at these. And, you know, a lot of guys don't realize, you know, they may have never heard of your company, mm -hmm. but I guarantee you many of them seen your tools on different tool trucks before. That is right. Because you know, rebranding is kind of like a thing people don't want to talk about. But as a manufacturer, like especially for you guys, y'all should be proud that a company like Snap-on and Mac actually brands, put, start, wants to put their name on a tool that you build. Like I think that's, that's saying something for your company when you get to that level. So, um, you know, every tool truck I believe I've ever been on in my life has got that red hood prop tool. <laughs> every single tool yep. truck has got it, you know. But, uh, you guys sell to every single tool every truck. Every single right? tool truck out there now. That's what I was thinking. So that's pretty cool. All right, guys. Well, like always, check out these Thixton tools or any other tools that Thixton's got. You want to tell everybody your website? Yeah, you can check everything out on our website at www.thexton.com. Also, Clay and Corey have everything loaded on the mobile tool network website mm -hmm. also. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. My email is mtoporsky at thexton.com. I'd love to hear from you. All right. Sounds great. All right, guys. Like always, thanks for hanging out with us today. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Check out whatever merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes is down below. And if you're not subscribed, take your finger and click that button. You guys have a great week. See ya.